I would say there's a lot of levels of uh, where some people are on the vegan spectrum, if you want to call it that. Um, some people, I would say the starting point is being vegan. You know, just, just not eating animals. That's great. And uh, not eating their byproducts as well. And not uh, buying things that require animals, uh, like wool or some of that. Um, so that's, that's, that's all good. That, that's fine. Next level is the kind of more... Uh, active vegan, the one more proselytizing it, um, actively talking about it, mentioning it to other people. Then there's like the street debates, uh, the street conversations, the cube of truth, if you've seen that one. Then there's the bearing witness, uh, which is the next level where, where people are going to the actual areas where there's the actual slaughterhouses and watching the vans and stuff going in with the cattle and stuff in the back about to be slaughtered. Um, there was recently a, a cyclist got run over by a truck because he cycled in front of one of these uh, trucks that was kind of a bunch of pigs or sheep. Uh, and the truck driver almost ran someone over. Not a good move if you are a, a truck driver. No matter how annoying animal libertarians are. Um, is that the right word? Um... I would advise not intentionally running over any activist in front of your truck. Being a bit late, being getting in trouble from your boss for for hanging around while people protested around your truck, that's one thing. Going to prison because you actively ran someone over, probably a worse consequence. Um, so there's that. And then there's the, the direct action um, level. Of veganism. Some of them are not even vegan. That, that's quite interesting. Uh, and these are the ones where usually in in, uh, in large groups, you've seen it a few times in America, uh, where people, large groups will, um, well there's uh, also different levels, they'll go to restaurants and annoy people, which is one way, uh, but the, the new one is going to like farms and saving animals uh, as well. So, yeah, uh, which doesn't necessarily always work out too well, especially in America. Um, and you just, just ends up everyone getting arrested, uh, and hopefully they're getting some media attention, and and that's all good uh, going on there. But uh, yeah, having a criminal conviction not the best for your future uh, employment prospects. Anyway, um, and that's usually done in big groups. And then, then there seems to be it's, when it gets to the point where people are getting shot <laughs> because they're trying to save some rabbits in a Spanish farm somewhere, you're like, you're doing a great job here, but do you know what? You're not going to be of much use when you're dead, <laughs> and ah, it's just not a good move. Let's, let's calm down your level of veganism here. So there's a, a new story that came out, um, vegan. I love how it's saying vegan. So it's not animal, um, is it? It's not libertarian. Uh, so when you want free free animals, so it's not just animal harm reductionist. Um, it's not just uh, it's one where you want to free animals. Uh, this vegan, not animal freedom fighter, covered in blood when farmers shot at her through a car window. Again, farmers. Let's say somebody steals. I think what was it? Twelve bunny rabbits. No, sixteen bunny rabbits. That's one thing. Going to jail because you murdered somebody for that. Mm, maybe, like, oh, let's look at it on both sides. Farmers, best not kill someone. <laughs> Vegans or animal savers, best not trespass on farms where people are clearly criminally insane. Uh, <laughs> so this, this girl here um, sounds like a British person. Is on a Spanish farm. And, and she's feeling proud of herself because she's saying she's set 16 rabbits free. We're not seeing them in the car, they don't have the car, assuming the car got stopped, but setting bunny rabbits free, <sighs> that's, that's gonna be interesting. Just run off and just make a lot more bunnies. Because look at this, this is what the, this is what the farmers have done. They, they shot through our window and chased us down the motorway. Oh my god! So yeah, so it sounds like a very, very posh uh, English uh, lady. Oh, that, that's going off to Spain to save some bunny rabbits. Oh, I'm sure she could have used her energies somewhere else. Um, but no, 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 got to save the bunny rabbits. But oh, whoopsie, 
you're now getting shot at by farmers. So yeah, the farmers are in the wrong, probably. Um, what the Spanish courts think about um, bunny rabbits and farmers, I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I would say let's not go. Let if, if you want to be vegan, if you want to promote veganism, if you want to even save animals, I wouldn't advise breaking in, trespassing at night into clearly a farmer's property where farmers have guns and are clearly not scared to use them and they say chased you down the motorway clearly angry um yeah best not uh doing that so yeah i i, I wouldn't say oh but respect her for saving the bunny rabbits no no not really no no there's there's better things you could have done and uh yeah you yeah nah 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 Anyway, in other news, another person almost following a vegan diet has gone blind. <laughs> okay, not, not technically a vegan, um, but this is something quite interesting. A uh, person who's only 17 years old, but also surprisingly not morbidly obese or massively underweight, um, is now blind. Because <laughs> all the vegan is what could technically be considered vegan is just chips, or if you're American, french fries. Uh, and crisps, or if you're American, what do Americans call crisps? They call it crisps chips, potato, potato chips, um, and uh, and they've, they've been so malnourished, they're now blind. Uh, you're like, uh, well, technically, um, regarding the blind, they've got blind spots in the middle of it. Um, they even were given, um, at the age of 14, uh, told to go to the doctor and the doctor was like yeah your diet is horrendous here are some vitamins to take that will stop you from deteriorating too much more they never bothered uh, vitamin b12 deficiency is what they had uh, a big one there uh, a bunch of other things in fact they've given a little list here and um, so the young man's vitamin levels are found to be very low was b12 oh vegans danger um, as well as importance, um, minerals, copper, selenium, and vitamin D. Well, vitamin D is not a mineral. That should be a vitamin as well. Anyway, um, so yeah, tip here, life tip. Take your multivitamins and maybe have a diet that consists more of chips and crisps. Not a good move. Uh, but yeah, what was quite interesting is that uh, he was not over or underweight, but was severely malnourished from his eating disorder. So th this is effectively somebody with some serious um, mental issues. Uh, they've called it avoidant restrictive food intake disorder. So in other words, super duper picky eater disorder, which a lot, uh, it, again, which is a lot of, I suspect... Some vegans use their veganism as a thing to hide behind. Oh, I'm not a picky eater. I'm, I'm vegan. No, I don't want to eat all that. No, no, I'm not eating. I'm not eating. Or you have quite a few people who are um, borderline anorexic. Or at least has eating disorders. Eat, um, eat food thought disorders. Um, and can use veganism as a crutch to hide behind um, to, to avoid uh, diagnosis of actual eating disorders and just say, no, it's because I'm vegan, it's, it's my moral position. So yeah, uh, in the end, uh, but what was quite good on this is that they said, yeah, there's even vegan options somewhere here. Yeah, so um, if you're at risk of B12 deficiency, um, yeah, just just if, if you're wanting to be vegan, go for breakfast cereal. Every breakfast cereal in the UK, fortified with B12, even if you're having it with milk, doesn't matter. Uh, sweetened or unsweetened soya drinks. I see soya. Hold on. What have I just said? Almond mocha coffee with zero guilt. Has this got any cocoa powder? Almonds. Nuts. Flavorings. Sea salt. Bean gum. Wherever that is. <gasps> Locust bean gum. That sounds good. Okay, maybe this one doesn't have any uh, uh, bean. But anyway, yeah, all my milks that I have, uh, my oat. Everyone goes about soy. Soy, whatever. Soy's rubbish. Almond, utter crap. Oat milk, that's the one to go for. I don't understand why that's not promoted. So many people say, oh yeah, yeah, I'm going vegan. Oh, do you like soy milk? Nobody likes soy milk. It's their only option. Or so, so many people think it's the only option. Same with uh, 
with almond milk. It's just bleh. Um, again, usually it's in the small shops and little towns that that's where you really start to notice that, oh yeah, here's the vegan option. And it's just like unsweetened soy. Ugh. Uh, it's just so crap. Uh, so yeah, just get oat milk, get chocolate milk, get uh, uh, cashew. I like that one as well. I've had that a few times. There's hemp milk as well, but they use a bit more expensive. But if you get them at the right time, you can get them for like three for a, three pounds or something like that. Uh, yeast extract again. You've got to get that from a specialty store usually, and uh, Marmite is a, is another good one. Fort uh, which is usually fortified with B12. But yeah, or at the same time. Which I don't understand why everyone doesn't do. Have a multivitamin. You don't even need to have a multivitamin every day. Just have like one a week or whenever you want. Um, it's not. It's not that difficult. Why don't people? I I just don't understand what world we live in, where some people are so against everything that they won't even have a multivitamin. That's just like you don't need to get expensive ones. Get the cheapest ones from from the shop. They all do the same thing. They all have the same things inside it. <laughs> it's, just, it's not a big deal. And all you need to do is take that and you might not go blind. Fingers crossed. So yeah. Yeah, so. Tip, life tips for everyone. Have a multivitamin. Eat some breakfast cereals. <laughs> and uh, and uh, don't trespass on Spanish bunny rabbit farmers land and try and free bunnies because you might be killed. Not the best idea. Okay, there you go. Bye-bye.